So the World Series of Poker has been going on for the last month and a half. Now the main event has started and one lucky person is going to be crowned main event champion in the next 7 days or so. Becoming an instant multi-millionaire, thrust it into the poker world's spotlight and have his or her name etched into poker history forever. A poker star is born overnight in the poker world. This is the richest poker players in 2022 part 2 in no particular order. Amateurs and professional poker players have made thousands to hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars during the 2022 World Series of Poker Tournament in Las Vegas, Nevada at Bally's and Paris Hotel Casinos. But these poker players have already made their millions and have cemented their names in the poker community and history worldwide. Here are some of the richest poker players in 2022, part two. Number nine, Alex Foxen. 17 million net worth. He excelled in three sports in high school, though football, lacrosse, and hockey, and was named to all conference football team as a tight end in New York during his senior year. After his time at Boston College, the gifted athlete would adopt a different career route. He discovered another game where he might succeed and earn a fortune. In his early 20s, the former college football player switched careers to play professional poker, and it was a wise choice. He has been among the finest players in the world for the last five years, less than 10 years after his first playing professionally and he has displayed some astounding results when up against the toughest opposition. The former football player has over 17.5 million in live tournament winnings and if it weren't for the pandemic that amount would probably be over 20 million dollars. His most notable victory was a 1,694,995 dollar victory in the $10,000 buy-in WPT 5 Diamond World Poker Classic in 2019 at Bellagio. Probably the most significant tournament on the World Poker Tour. However, his best performance was in 2018 when he came in second place to Isaac Haxton in the $300,000 Super High Roller Bowl at the Poker Go Studio in Las Vegas. Foxen recently won his first bracelet from the World Series of Poker and he has 39 caches from bracelet competitions and he won the WSOP circuit event in 2011 which was months after he turned 21. Number 8. Tony G. $36 million net worth. One of the loudest poker players in the world is known as Tony G, whose real name is Antonis Squaga. Although he has never won a WSOP prize, he has 15 times finished in the money. He also makes some money as a politician and businessman. When he was younger, Guaga was the champion of Lithuania in Rubik's Cube. He and his family, however, relocated to Melbourne, Australia when he was 11 years old. Since the age of 18, he has been playing poker. He is well renowned for his strange table conversation and persistent intimidation of opponents. He has several six-figure poker jackpot victories to his credit. Even so, the majority of his fortune comes from his business ventures. He was elected as a lawmaker to the Seamus of the Republic of Lithuania for the term 2020 through 2024. He now has a $36 million net worth as a result. Number 7. Eric Seidel, $42 million net worth. On November 6, 1959, Eric Seidel was born in New York City, New York, and he currently resides in Las Vegas, Nevada. He was a professional backgammon player in his early 20s, which undoubtedly had a lasting impact on his future job. He was a talented player who traveled the nation competing in tournaments. He first became interested in poker in Las Vegas. Seidel won his first World Series of Poker bracelet in 1992, and he would go on to win three more in the following 10 years. Seidel has reached his first total million dollar income by the year's conclusion in 1993. Seidel obtained a further fourth World Series of Poker bracelet, the most recent of which he received in 2007. At the 2011 Aussie Millions Poker Championship, he won his first million dollars in a single game of $250,000 Super High Roller No Limit Hold'em. Seidel technically holds the fourth most World Series of Poker bracelet victories after Johnny Moss with 15, Doyle Brunson with 10, Phil Ivey with 10, Johnny Chan with 10, and Phil Helmuth with 15 at 9 bracelets. In particular, he has won in 5 different poker game variants including Hold'em, Omaha, and 7 Draw. Seidel has competed in 94 World Series of Poker tournaments with money finishes and 35 World Series of Poker final tables. Number 6. Justin Bonomo. 49 million net worth. Not exactly a favorite of Daniel Negreanu because of their ongoing feud of ethics right now. Justin still has proven himself to be an excellent poker player. Given his extensive involvement in both live and online poker, 
It is not surprising that Justin Bonomo, also known online as Z Justin, has received some of the largest cash rewards. He has won the Super High Roller Ball three times and he has three WSOP bracelets. Bonomo comes from Las Vegas Panorama Towers, which is home to more than 70 seasoned gamblers. As a result, he was introduced to poker from an early age. In the first season of the EPT in the French Open, he placed the fourth at the age of 19. He was the youngest participant in a live broadcast final table ever. After taking home a WSOP live title in 2018, Justin increased his wealth by 10 million in just one year. Conservative estimates put Justin's net worth at 49 million. But given how often he plays online poker, many people think his wealth is more. Number 5. Bryn Kenny, 56 million net worth. Bryn Kenny, in contrast to some of the other players in this list, owes his entire wealth to poker. Although he's not as well known as other poker millionaires, ardent admirers are aware of his prowess. Despite only keeping one WSOP bracelet, he has placed in the money 32 times. Kenny, a native of Long Beach, New York, played Magic the Gathering competitively before switching to poker. His first live tournament victory came in 2007 at the East Coast Poker Championships. Brain is best known for winning the biggest poker tournament prize ever awarded. He made more than 20.5 million during the 2019 Triton Million fundraising campaign. He is the highest paid poker player with approximately 55 million in total tournament winnings and a net worth of $56 million. Number 4. Doyle Brunson, 75 million net worth. Known by everyone in the poker community, Doyle Brunson with his Super Systems book and Super Systems 2, the 10 and Deuce together is known as the Doyle. Doyle Brunson is a living legend in the poker community, loved and respected by all that know him. We have personally met Doyle Brunson here at the Lux Lifestyle channel in Las Vegas and can attest to his very generous, kind and humble man. One of the best recognizable poker hall of famers is Doyle Brunson, whose career lasted more than 50 years. He finished second all time in WSOP bracelet wins with 10 tying him with Phil Ivey and Johnny Chan. He was the first person to hold titles in both the World Poker Tour and the WSOP main event. Brenton's original career goal was to play professional basketball. He was a member of the Texas All-State squad. The NBA's Minneapolis Lakers were interested in Brenton, but his time there was cut short by a knee problem. He then played poker to cover his costs after that. He was among the first to sign up for the WSOP and he was also the first to win a million dollars in a tournament. One of the best poker strategy books ever written was Super System, which he wrote. Doyle has accumulated a sizable, well-deserved net worth of 75 million, is now happily retired. Number three, Chris Ferguson, 80 million net worth. He's not exactly love amongst the poker community these days with what happened with Full Tilt Poker and maybe that's why he has an 80 million dollar net worth. Tell us your thoughts below, we'd love to see. Including the main event, Christopher Ferguson has won six WSOP competitions. He doesn't, however, have the finest standing in the game. He was accused of taking part in a massive operation at Full Tilt Poker where players were duped out of more than $400 million. He is a PhD level computer scientist with training and education in virtual network techniques. Chris began playing poker when he was 10 years old and improved his game by playing IRC poker in college. Ferguson is a rather reserved player who frequently adopts an immovable stance to deny his opponents any opportunities. He was known as the poker world's Jesus because of his long hair. However, his reputation was damaged as a result of his destructive actions. His net worth is still $80 million though. Number 2. Sam Faha, $100 million net worth. Ishan Sam Faha or Sami Faha is well known to the poker players as the loser of Chris Moneymaker's bluff of the century in the 2003 main event. Sam's ability to have helped him become a self-made millionaire with three WSOP bracelets to his name aside from that momentous occasion. When a civil war broke out in Lebanon in 1975, Sammy's family fled to the United States. After completing his undergraduate education in Kansas, he moved to Houston in the 1980s when he played poker for the first time. His biggest tournament win was $488,241 in 2010. Faha plays in tournaments, but his expertise, his high stakes Omaha cash games is what makes him well known. His publications, television appearances, and several business endeavors have contributed to his $100 million fortune. Number one, 
Phil Ivey, $120 million net worth. One of the youngest members of the Poker Hall of Fame, Phil Ivey is widely recognized as the greatest poker player of all time. He has won 10 World Series of Poker bracelets. Additionally, he has played in 9 World Poker Tour finals and won 1 of the tournament titles. Phil started practicing his poker skills by playing against co-workers at a telemarketing company in New Brunswick, New Jersey in the late 1990s. One of his identities, No Home Jerome, comes from a fake ID card he acquired when he was a teenager so that he could play poker. He is now referred to by various names including the Phenom and the Tiger Woods of poker due to his remarkable talent at the game. His anticipated live tournament winnings will total around $26 million, including more than $20 million in internet profits. He is now worth $125 million as a result of this. Well, there you have it, Lux Lifestylers, millionaire poker players that made names for themselves playing cards in some of the biggest buy-in and paying tournaments. Do you think you'll be on the list one day? Tell us and comment below. We hope we gave you a little inspiration to go after your dreams to succeed and what you'll spend your millions or billions on when you do. If you like this video, check out one of the other ones on screen and we'll catch you in the next one. Till next time, Lux Lifestyle family, ciao.